Hey guys, so Hourglasses come out with three brand new ambient lighting edit palettes. They're all unlocked versions, uh, but they have a different drawing on the cover of each of them. So we have an elephant, we have um, a butterfly, and we have a tiger. And these drawings are by an illustrator or painter, I should say, Katie Scott. There's more information on the Hourglass site if you want to look into it. They're also donating, I believe, 5% of the proceeds, let me not get this wrong, 5% of profits from the unlocked support the non-human rights uh, project in their efforts to secure fundamental rights for animals. So that's really awesome. Um, so I have all three of these palettes and I'm just gonna be showing you close-ups of the palettes, swatches, we're gonna be demoing all of them, uh, which is why I look pretty pale right now. So before we get into all that, I do just wanna mention quickly that um, on the Hourglass site, they have, you know, like the elephant cover with a palette, the tiger cover with a palette, but you can actually like customize or just pick which cover you want. So if there's just one palette that uh, calls to you, but you want it with like a different cover, you can actually do that. You can actually kind of like customize your choice. Um, that's as far as you can go. You can't actually customize each palette, but you can customize the pairing of the palette and the cover artwork. So I just wanted to mention that because I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, but let's go ahead and just take a look at these palettes and talk through the shades. Some of them are new. Um, and we're gonna start with the elephant palette. It's the first one that, you know, pops up on the Hourglass site. So here is a close up of the box. Um, the box artwork is the same as what you'll see on the cover of the palette, which is really awesome. I just love this elephant. So cute. All right, so here is a close-up of the palette, and I'm just going to be reading off of the back here which powder is what. So I'm going to be going from left to right, top to bottom. The first one is a finishing powder in dim light. The second one is a finishing powder in soft light. Uh, the third is a metallic strobe powder in beaming strobe light. That is a new shade. The fourth one is a bronzer in lustrous bronze light. That is a new shade. Uh, the fifth one is a blush in iridescent coral. That's brand new. The last pan is a blush in radiant rose, which is also a brand new shade. And here are swatches of all six. So again, from left to right, we have dim light, soft light. Those are not new. And then the new shades. Uh, is this beaming strobe light, this lustrous bronze light, iridescent coral, and radiant rose. Okay, next we have the tiger palette. Here is the box for that. And then again, we've got the cover of the palette mimicking the box, which is really great, or the other way around. And uh, one thing I wanna mention, I probably should have mentioned this in the beginning, but when I felt these palettes, they felt very different from past palettes. So what Hourglass has done, and I think they started this with their refillable eyeshadow cases, is they started using recyclable uh, metal. I think it's an aluminum for their cases. So they used to use just like a hard plastic, um, but I think they wanted something that was recyclable, and so they moved over to this uh, aluminum. So I just wanted to mention that. Um, okay, so here is a close-up of the Tiger palette. And again, from left to right, top to bottom, we have a finishing powder in uh, Transcendent Light. Next, we have a Metallic Strobe Powder Brilliant Glow Strobe Light. And then we have a Blush in Burnished Glow. And then the bottom row, we have a Metallic Strobe Powder in Divine Strobe Light. Another Metallic Strobe Powder in Copper Flash Strobe Light. And then the last pan is a blush in iridescent rose. And here are the swatches. So again, from left to right, we have that transcendent light that is not a new shade. And then we have the brilliant glow strobe light. That is a new shade. And then we have the blush in burnished glow. That is a new shade. That's a warm coral shade. Then we have uh, the divine strobe light highlighter. That is a new shade. It is described as a true gold. Then we have the Copper Flash Strobe Light, and that is a new shade as well. And then last we have the Iridescent Rose Blush, which is not a new shade. So that is the Tiger Palette. And then last but not least is the Butterfly Palette. So again, here's a close-up of the box and the cover of the palette, which is so, so pretty. I can't decide which one is my favorite. I think it's between the Butterfly and the Elephant, just because... I love both butterflies and elephants so much. Um, but this one is just, oh, it's so pretty. I just love the artwork. Um, so here's a close up of the palette. And again, from left to right, top to bottom, we have the finishing powder, ethereal light, strobe powder in incandescent light, blush in soft flush, finishing powder in diffuse light, a blush in sunset glow, and a metallic strobe powder in celestial strobe light. 
So here are the swatches. So first we have ethereal light, that is not a new shade. Then we have incandescent light, which is not a new shade. And then we have the soft flush blush, and that is a new shade. It's described as a deep mauve. And then we have uh, the diffused light powder, that is not a new shade. And then we have the sunset glow blush, that is brand new, it's described as a terracotta. And then we have the Celestial Strobe Light Metallic Strobe Powder, and that is a new shade described as Golden Champagne. So I have finally, <laughs> I had finally gotten rid of my um, original ambient lighting edit palette, the unlocked version. It was limited edition. That was my, by far, my favorite uh, palette from Hourglass. And I finally got rid of it because I'm like, it's limited edition, it's been discontinued, they don't have it anymore. And I was like, you know, just cleaning out. Anyway, so I'm so glad <laughs> that they've come out with these. I feel like the original Unlocked palette has, um, or had elements of all three of these palettes, if memory serves. But anyway, if I can find it, I will throw a picture of it up here uh, just to kind of refresh uh, your memory. But the blushes, in this elephant palette are cooler, I remember, than the ones, at least one in the unlock, original Unlocked palette. Anyway, we're gonna start with the elephant palette, and if you're curious as to what I have on my face, I'll list everything down below in my description box, but I do have foundation down, I do have powder over that, and I just wanted kind of like a fresh canvas for these products. So I do wanna focus on the new shades because the older shades in here, or the existing shades, I should say, are these two shades up here. And I mean, not to say they're boring, but like I really wanna use the blushes and the bronze and you know, the good stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this bronze shade. And that is again called Lustrous Bronze Light. And I'm gonna use Sonia G's Face Pro Brush and go into this powder. And these powders, when I swatch them and the way they are behaving and acting, very, it just no surprise uh, if you're familiar with hourglass powders. So I don't think the formula has changed or anything like that. So I'm just gonna throw this on and use it as kind of a, a brontour, kind of warm up my forehead a little bit, but I'm just gonna use it to kind of contour underneath my cheekbone here. The hourglass powders are fairly soft, so I would be careful in picking it up. I was a little bit aggressive. You can see I have kind of a stripe there that I need to work out. But if you, you know, just knock off excess, kind of tap your brush in gently, I think you'll get a nice amount of product. Um, I did not do those things. <laughs> I got a little excited, but you can see it blends out really nicely. So that is the bronze light color. But let me go ahead and move over to a blush brush. I'm really excited about these blushes. I think I wanna start with the deeper blush and it's deeper just by a little bit. It's the one in the bottom right hand corner. This is the Radiant Rose blush. And I wanna use a brush uh, like on the bigger, fluffier side. So I've got this Chantecaille face brush that I'm gonna use. And I just wanna pick up just a little bit of this deeper blush and kind of lay it down very, very lightly. Kind of as like a, a base layer to my blush. So there is the Radiant Rose. And now I'm gonna use a smaller blush brush. I'm gonna use my Chikahoto Cheek Highlight Brush here and go into, what's this one called again? Iridescent Coral. And really just focus this on my cheek, like the apple of my cheek. And go back to the face brush and just blend that in. Very pretty. So the Iridescent Coral has like kind of a built-in highlight situation in it. This one is uh, like a high satin, but this one uh, kind of borders on metallic. So the iridescent uh, coral is really reflective, as you can see. I'm gonna add just a little bit more, just so you guys can get a good sense of the color there. Really pretty. Okay, and then I'm gonna use the highlighter in here, which is the Beaming Strobe Light, again, a brand new shade. And I'm gonna use Sonia G's Sculpt 2 brush. Now this is a really um, strong application. I mean, I'm gonna pick up as little as possible because these strobe lighting powders from Hourglass are very, very bright. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit and just hit the tops of my cheekbones there, or the top of my cheekbone there. Get my hair out of the way and really work it in. 
but it leaves such a wet kind of shine. It's very, very pretty. These highlights from Hourglass are some of my favorite. Gorgeous. Do you remember when they came out with these powders? It came in that silver toned three pan palette and they had like a pink toned, a yellow toned and like a goldy bronze tone. I love that palette so much. Anyway, that's the metallic strobe lighting powder in Beaming Strobe Light. And then Dim Light and Soft Light, these two. So this one's Dim Light, this one's Soft Light. This one is a little bit kind of cooler in tone. Soft Light has a little bit of like a yellow uh, kind of like brightening to it. So what I will do is just add a little bit of the um, soft light. I'm like confusing myself. I'm gonna add a little bit of the soft light underneath my eyes and I'm gonna use my Surratt highlight brush. Just pick up the littlest bit. I find that hourglass powders, you, you really just need a little bit, especially if you have uh, dry skin like I do or if you are um, worried about like fine lines or emphasizing texture or anything like that. I think a lighter touch works better. So there is soft light. And then for a dim light, I think I'll just use a little bit of the dim light on my forehead here. So take down some of the shine, but just so we can get all, <laughs> all six of the powders down. All right, so that is the elephant palette. Really, really beautiful. I think I think that's my favorite, but we have to use them all. So next I'm gonna use the Butterfly palette. Now this one I find very interesting because there's so many similar uh, powders in here. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you can maybe see a difference up close, but like, I don't know when I would use like this powder over this powder <laughs> or like this powder over this powder. This one has a little bit more of a sheen to it. So maybe if you want like I don't know, a softer highlight versus using one of their metallic strobe lighting powders. Um, this one's gonna give you a softer one. So uh, this one is a strobe powder in incandescent light, but it's not quite as blingy as this metallic strobe powder in celestial strobe light. Um, but I think what really kind of throws me a bit is um, they put two blushes in here and no bronzer. So I know not everyone uses a bronzer, but I just feel like we have six pans here. We have a lot of opportunity to get everything in here and they decided to put like two very similar powders in here. So that's my only uh, criticism, I guess, of this particular palette. But I think if you're someone with like a fair light skin tone and you like a bright blush, you're not really into bronzer, this could be the palette for you. I guess I'm also uh, curious like why they picked pretty bold blushes to go with something which is obviously meant for um, like a lighter skin tone. So I'm gonna start with these blushes. They do have a very, very similar tone. This one is just a little bit deeper. This one's just a little bit brighter. It has that marbling in there. Um, so I'm gonna go with the deeper one. I'm basically gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna just like lay it down as like a base layer. And if you are interested in these blushes and you don't really like a bold, bold blush, I would definitely use a fluffy brush. I would say that's key to laying it down in a very light, airy kind of way. All right, so that is this blush, which is Sunset Glow, a new shade. I have that just lightly dusted all over my cheek. And then I'm taking the same uh, cheek and highlight brush from Chikahoto. I am wiping these off in between use, and I am going into this soft flush blush, which is also a new shade. So the two blushes are new, and then the highlighter is new as well. So there are the two blushes layered. I'm gonna layer up this blush a little bit just so I'm kind of doing the same thing as I did on this side so you can see that these blushes are a little deeper and a bit brighter than the elephant palette. So yeah, so this is the butterfly, this is the elephant, um, and then I'm gonna go into this highlight shade, which is brand new. This is Celestial Strobe Light. I'm gonna use my Wayne Goss fan brush and add to my cheekbone here. That is a really, really bright, very wet looking highlight. So I would definitely say the butterfly one is uh, lighter, it's brighter. This one has a little bit more of like a yellow 
kind of base to it, like a golden kind of base to it. This one is a little bit more champagne, if you will. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing with the other powders. I'm gonna use this uh, diffuse light powder underneath my eyes and just using the Surratt highlight brush to do that. And then I think I'm gonna use this uh, this one, this Stro powder in incandescent light. I'm gonna use that to kind of set my forehead and just see how much of a sheen this gives. I think that's pretty. I think that's a nice kind of like satin finish kind of powder if you don't wanna like mattify your skin too much. I think that's really pretty. So that was the Stro powder in incandescent light. All right, so before I take these two off and move on to the Tiger palette, we'll just kind of show you <laughs> once again, this is the elephant side. This is the butterfly side. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of this, reapply my foundation and powder, and we'll be right back to play with the Tiger palette. All right, last but not least, we've got the Tiger palette. I'm really excited for this one. This one is definitely for deeper skin tones, so I don't know how well this palette's gonna work for me. I'm obviously very pale. So I'm happy that Hourglass has released more than one palette this season, and one is definitely for deeper skin tones. Don't know where to start. I guess I'll start with blush. I think this is, it's just too deep for me, uh, which is fine. I'm just, I'm not gonna use it. I'm not gonna even attempt to use it. It will look bad. And I don't wanna make it look bad because I have pale skin. So I think I'm going to forego using this finishing powder. So I'm gonna start with one of these deeper shades as a blush. I think I wanna try this shade at the bottom, number five, which is Copper Flash Strobe Light. It is a metallic strobe powder, so it's gonna be a really bright, bright blush. Um, but it's one of the newer shades and I do wanna, I just wanna play around with it. So I am going to use the Chantecaille face brush again because I want a, just a nice kind of light layer of this. Throw this on my cheeks. That's a really pretty blush and would make a gorgeous highlight, obviously for someone with deeper skin tone. Um, that's really pretty. And again, that's Copper Flash Strobe Light, which is a new shade. And I'm doing both sides since we only have this palette left. So I really wanna use the new shade. So this one is Brilliant Glow Strobe Light. That is a new shade. I'm gonna use that and add it to the apples of my cheeks. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. I just kind of wanted to brighten things up. So this, I don't know if you guys remember the swatches. This is like a light to medium skin tone kind of highlighter. And yeah, I was just kind of hoping to kind of like brighten up the apples on my cheeks, but I don't think you can see it. Let me actually add it over here. And then this shade is new, this copper shade, which is so, so pretty. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna take off one of these cheeks and then use the copper shade as blush. All right, so I just uh, redid my cheeks so that we can play with this blush, which is called Burnish Glow, which is a brand new shade. And again, too deep for my skin tone. I'm gonna use it pretty carefully, but I will put enough down so that you can see the actual shade. So again, I'm just using that fluffy face brush from Chantecaille. I'm gonna lay down slowly, light layer by light layer. Wow. Okay, so that is the copper blush. Ooh, that is really pretty. Burnished Glow, that is the name. And then on this side is mainly this shade. Again, a new one, Copper Flash Strobe Light. It's meant to be more of like a highlight. Oh, that's really pretty. All right, and the only shade, so I tried using this. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, but the only other new shade in here is this shade, which is the Divine Strobe Light. So this is a highlight. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt it. I think it is gonna be too deep for my skin tone. I am kind of tan for me, but still, still pale. <laughs> still pale in general. So I'm gonna use this detail brush from Sonia G. Yeah, if I apply it over the blush, it's okay, but I think you can see, let me see if you can, you know, when the light reflects off of it, everything looks just, you know, white and bright and yeah, it works on my skin tone, but there's like a pretty obvious like yellow 
yellowy kind of gold base to it, which makes it very obvious. And I think that's what makes it, you know, too deep or just off for my particular skin tone. So that is the highlight. And yeah, I would definitely say that if you have my skin tone, even a little bit deeper, definitely lighter, this probably is not the palette for you. This is definitely meant for deeper skin tones, which is great. So my favorite palette out of the three is the Elephant palette. It is the one that works for my skin tone best, and it has um, finishing powders, it has a highlight, it has a bronzer, it has blushes, like it has all of the different face products that I would want, as opposed to the Butterfly palette, which does not really have a bronzer, um, and it has two finishing powders that are very similar. So I really wish they put a bronzer in that one. I feel like that would have made this some very strong competition against the elephant. And then this tiger one is gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. It's just a little bit too deep for my skin tone. Stating the obvious there. Uh, but anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.